Perhaps the most random timing ever, but it was announced last night around 10 p.m. my time that we're getting a new secret lair drop with Hatsune Miku, which, if you're unfamiliar, is a very big mascot, you know, popular character in Japan. Um, certainly, I've seen Hatsune Miku in passing. I'm not really familiar with the, you know, with what exactly is going on there, but I know a lot of people like it. A lot of people like the characters, so I figured in today's video, we'll take a look at the secret lair and see whether or not it's going to be worth buying. Uh, the spoiler answer is probably not, but let's break it down and actually take a look at why and why not it is going to be worth your money before we get started with that if you guys do want to just go ahead and hit that like button and subscribe click the bell icon if you want to stay notified and you know all that jazz i really do appreciate all of the support a lot of the videos have been doing really really well lately so i'm really thankful for that and as we enter may this is the 10 year anniversary of the channel which is crazy i'm, I'm still trying to figure out something fun to do um you know th little throwbacks if you guys m most people now who are probably part of the channel have not been with me since 2014 and we've undergone some changes since then uh, but i think i'll probably bring some retro stuff back maybe repost some old videos uh to kind of you know get get a, a good you know retro feel for it but it, it, for me it's crazy to be this this far into it and i only really hit the uh the ability to monetize my videos a year ago so that that's wild and uh yeah with that being said that's kind of enough about me let's talk about the secret lair so there are six cards in it and right off the bat i'm gonna say Man, the art on these is not great. There are maybe one or two cards I actually quite like the art of, and all the rest I just find to be so weird. We'll, we'll take a, a closer look at a few of them so you guys can kind of see the point that I'm making, but I'm curious what everybody else thinks just from an artistic standpoint about these cards. All right, so this Secret Lair will be releasing in May as part of the Spring Super Drop, which May 13th is going to be when that starts. It'll be up until June 2nd. Now, of course, if you're unfamiliar with Secret Lairs or haven't been, you know, up to date with them in a while, they did change from a print to demand to limited print format. Uh, we saw the Fallout ones sell pretty quick and just the other ones in that Super Drop in general. So be aware of that date. I would I would say probably try to keep an eye on it. I think most things you will have a bit of time to grab, but they don't stay up super long and it's not like you can just grab them whenever. There's that, you know, sort of element of creating, I think they want to create FOMO to get people being like, oh, I got to buy all these and, you know, be smart about it. But, you know, also understand that with secret layers, it's it's not just about value. It's also about, you know, if you like the art, if you like the cards, you know, there's a lot of factors to consider. Um, but we're going to look at the value and sort of see what's going on with that. And the first card up here is Inspiring Vantage. This is one of the arts I actually quite like. It's, it's really nice. It's got like a bit of an elegant design to it. It is Weird, though, because this card just got a reprint in Outlaws at Thunder Junction and is only, like, a dollar fifty in non-foil. Um, even the foil version is about the same price, so they're less than $2 for either copy. And it's just one of the more accessible dual lands that we have with just getting a reprint of it. I mean, this would have made a little bit more sense if we hadn't gotten it in Outlaws, but other than the art, it's like, what... What is the demand for this card? It just got a regular print as well as a borderless print. There are tons of copies in circulation. This is one you're only really getting for the art, but even the value on the foil doesn't doesn't really make me say, yeah, I need to get this. Of course, there's always that factor of like this being a limited product, this being a licensed character. The, this copy of the card will likely be worth more than the others, uh, but that, you know, buying it for value's purpose means you really have to factor a lot of that in. This is not worth it from a value perspective, but it, it will likely end up doing somewhat okay as a card just because of the fact that it's a secret layer and it's limited. Uh, I wouldn't expect this to be more than like $10, though, unless something crazy happens. And even that feels a little bit high. Uh, but I guess we'll have to see, you know, with it once we get a little closer to the actual release. And there's some better sales data to look at. Uh, not even really much in terms of pre-sale data right now or anything because these aren't singles. Harmonize. I think this artwork is awesome. It's by far my favorite. I think it looks really, really cool. The problem, of course, is that Harmonize is a 60 cent, 50 cent card, basically, in, in regular non-foil. Um, the foil version is like $1.25 is the cheapest I could find. So, again, like, not really in demand. It's a good card. But it's it's been printed a billion times. It's printed in almost every Commander product. This version of Harmonize will likely command a bit of a premium for obvious reasons. Uh, but in terms of Wizards and the choices they're making on the cards that are actually getting reprints, you could be doing much better. It's kind of sad that the best card in this, in my opinion, from like an aesthetic perspective, is a card that's only worth 50 cents, considering you know what you're going to be paying for the actual secret layers, but it, it's a nice looking card. It's just kind of a disappointing inclusion in my opinion. 
Now, Miku Lost But Singing is a uh, sort of a reskin version of Azusa Lost But Seeking. Uh, very, very good card. Actually, one of the more expensive reprints in here. It's about $5 for the regular and around the same for the foil. It was last printed at Commander Masters, so it's not super hard to get, but it is a really, really strong green card. This artwork, I, I just, I hate it. I think it's terrible. I don't even know what's going on. It's almost got like a clay kind of look to it, but it just looks like... I, I don't know. I'm not I'm not shitting on the artist, obviously, but this this just is not for me. I just don't understand. And it doesn't really flow aesthetically with the other ones that we've seen so far either. Um I would I would rather just play the regular Asusa in my decks, personally speaking. Um but again, maybe someone's into it, maybe someone likes the art. Again, not a terrible card for inclusion. And if this was like the cheapest card in the secret lair, it would actually be a decent inclusion because Asusa is really good. But uh Given that it's towards the top end of what's in here, um, that that's a major letdown in my personal opinion. Uh, just just from a choice standpoint, a design standpoint. Now we've got Miku the Renowned, which is a, a reskin of Feather the Redeemed. Pretty neat artwork here. I don't love it, but it's definitely a little bit different. While still kind of staying true to what what they're trying to do with the the secret layer, and I I don't hate it. I think a lot of people are going to like it more than others. I kind of wish they had all been drawn in more in the art style of Harmonize because it just it, it did it would have looked really nice to have like a, a full series of cards with that aesthetic. Alas, this card is approximately seventy five cents, and I'm being generous. And the foil version is about three dollars, so we are talking basically slightly above bulk if not bulk in terms of the reprint selection and that again just makes me wonder what the rationale is behind this because obviously with the changes to secret lair and creating fomo wanting people to buy stuff faster you're not giving us as a player base like cards that would go along with that or even something to be excited i don't expect every secret lair to be loaded with high value cards even though technically it could all cost the same to print i understand that logistically they need to keep certain things out so that they can resell them later i'm not going to get into the logistics and more moral um you know structure of the secret layers because there's plenty of other people who have done that but just from the perspective of like you've really given us next to nothing here to sink our teeth into from a, a value perspective and that's that's disappointing for a what's supposed to be like a spotlight you know specialty secret layer um product now chandra's ignition is actually the most expensive card in here um at about six dollars for the regular and about fifth sixteen dollars for the foil i think was the best i could find Decent card. It's, you know, uh, a solid board wipe option. But again, when the best card you're talking about is is about five, six bucks and then the foil's like 16, we're going to talk about the totals in just a minute here for these and how much they add up to. Just, I feel like a broken record kind of saying the same thing over and over again, but it's pretty much what we're dealing with here. These are all low value cards that don't have a lot of demand and there's just no real reason to like want to spend the money on it unless you're a diehard fan of Hatsune Miku or you just really like the art. Now, Shelter is the last card in here. This one, pretty cool aesthetic. I like the art. I do like that, you know, a lot of these have different styles, just some styles I don't like as much as others. That's just me though. Everyone's going to have different opinions what well, i think we can all agree on though this card is 10 cents for the non-foil and about 50 cents and i'm rounding up a little for the foil uh very easy to get it's been reprinted many times and certainly is not something i would want to see included in a secret layer uh it's just overall a bit of a letdown there in terms of the card selection even if the art is okay so we got six cards here total and all six of these cards in non-foil equal out to $13.85 if you were to buy them all right now, just like the whatever lowest rarity version you could find. Uh, the foil versions are $27.25 for the, you know, for to get them all in foil, which is almost half the price of the secret lair. Not quite, but like pretty close. Um, the actual prices of these, of course, $29.99 for the non-foil, $39.99 for the foil. You're quite literally just spending nearly double the money to get these cards. And at that point, it really just comes down to the art. Are you looking forward to, you know, the artwork? Are you a diehard collector of Hatsune Miku? Because that's really going to be the only reason to go in on these. And even then, I, I feel somewhat okay in saying you could probably, depending on, you know, whether or not they get scalped, obviously there's some, some you know, variation to keep in mind. But you could probably pick up a lot of these singles once the secret layer is out. Again, that really depends, though, on the demand of this product, and that's kind of where the FOMO, unfortunately, comes in, where it's like, okay, you're someone who wants to make value. This is definitely not going to be for you unless there's artificial hype. But if you really want to get these cards and you're worried that they're going to be a lot more on the secondary market because of limited quantities and people buying them all up, then I guess it's not the worst purchase in the world. It's just kind of upsetting because, like, it's cool when they do these licensed products, but then they don't put, like, any 
big noteworthy cards in here. Like you could have put like one fifteen twenty dollar card in here that would have been a really cool like nod to people that were buying it and also giving you know collectors a little bit more bang for their buck with this but instead i think what we're going to be dealing with here is people who will like it for the artwork and who are just a fan of hatsune miku in general will likely go after these and you're also going to see people buying them out trying to create that sort of you know artificial hype if you will because that's sort of what happens with these secret layers now that they are not printed demand if this was printed demand i do not think it would sell super well it would probably have a lot of people who are interested in it but i think it would be affordable and available for a good bit so just something to keep in mind. Also, the interesting part of this is it will be available in Japanese language as well. Obviously, it's cool if you're, you know, a fan of Hatsune Miku and you live in Japan, or you just, you know, want to thematically have them all in Japanese because it's a Japanese mascot, um, you know, very famous character. I keep saying mascot. Again, I don't know too much about Hatsune Miku beyond what I looked up a little bit just to be able to make the video. But alas, this is a very large oof, if you ask me. I think this product as a whole is really uh, a bit of a letdown. They are saying there are going to be four drops total with Atsune Miku throughout the year, so my hope is that the other ones will be better, but they're definitely not instilling confidence in me with the way this first one looks. Let me know what you guys think. Are you going to be buying this? Are you excited about the product? I, again, I think it definitely sucks from a value perspective, but there are other factors in play that may end up making it worth money, quote-unquote, in the future. I kind of hate that that's where we're at with the secret layers, but at the same time, you know, hopefully you'll have a chance to get them if you want them, or I'm significantly underestimating the popularity of this and it's going to sell out in two seconds and this whole video is going to look stupid, but I'm hoping that's not the case because, again, a lot of the cards in here are pretty, pretty much hot garbage, so let me know what you guys think in the comments down below. Thanks so much for watching and I'll catch you in the next video. Peace.